Up next, we're going to talk about the Weiss's Agility Analytics. The Agility Analytics is a new component that we've added to the Agility Design Studio. <clears throat> it allows you to have quick, visual, real-time business analysis with full drill-down abilities into detailed data or transactional data. With that, let's get started and take a look at the analytics. Up here on my screen, you can see that I have the Weiss's Agility Explorer already opened. If you are an administrator, uh, it, the Agility Explorer opens up with several of our newer dashboards here. You can see on the screen we have the AR Management Interactive Dashboard. Now this dashboard <clears throat> displays the AR aging broken down by the aging balance, the customer type, and then you have your AR turn with details down below of the actual customers here and their categories for their um, aging balance. Um, this will start up automatically in a group and this can be turned off for your administrative users by clicking on the maintenance here. And these are the groups that came out in 566. You can create your own groups and you can set what happens at startup. So these will start up automatically. If you want to turn this off, simply uncheck this box. So back to the AR Management Interactive Dashboard. You'll notice here if I click on the different sections here, it changes and it's showing me the over 90. If I click on the 30 to 60, I see the 30 to 60 orders and then the 60 to 90. Now all of these and the same thing over here if I drill down into my different customer types that I have in my database here I have those available down here. Now I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to double click on one of the line items and you'll notice that it opens up the customer AR aging and in the customer AR aging this is um, listing all of the customers outstanding invoices here so I can see the invoice dates, the invoice numbers, uh, amounts, all of the AR aging. Now I can drill even further into any of these if they're questionable simply by clicking on invoice here and I'm gonna choose my invoice. This is gonna drill me into the actual invoice. So here I'm in my OE order history dialog and I can take a look at everything about that order. So here you can see the bill to information, I can see the line items, I can reprint the invoice, I can look at the header audit if they have any questions here or any of the line information down here. If I don't want that one and I need another one, I simply can select this one and drill into that. Now I can also very easily export this. So if I needed a customer statement, I can come up here and remember I have the ability I can export my detail grid to Excel. This will export out to Excel. I can send it off to a customer and they have a very quick statement. I'm going to go on ahead and close this AR aging here and I'm going to come back to my Agility Explorer menu. Next I'm going to pop over to an OE processing dashboard. This one also opens up automatically. And what this is showing you here in this OE order status management, this is designed kind of for the floor. It's giving you the status of all the different orders here. And then I have over here, I have a list of all the open orders that are here with the items, quantities to ship, and some detailed information. Here I have, if I had any future orders, they would show me in a bar chart here. And down here I have past due orders. So if I need to go find those past due orders, I can drill into these past due orders and find out you know why are they out here what's happened to them what's going on if I need to from that perspective and then I can also see my future incoming order counts for those particular orders now if I want to again interactive you'll notice if I click on any of these that the menu changes and I can see what's in each status and I can click on any of the grid details and drill into the order detail here. So I double clicked on this line in. It takes me into the OE order dialog and here I have all of my details with the order lines and I can drill into the same information. Header audit, if I need to print a pro forma invoice I can, this is an open order, and any of the item detail here. I'm going to close that. Now these open up automatically but they can be found in a couple of areas. 
the OE processing dashboard, if I look under order processing, you will see that here is that OE processing dashboard. So I can give people rights to that and they can open it automatically, set it in their own start group, whatever it is that they would like to do in that OE processing. So if I close this, it's very easy to just open it here on its own menu here for each user. Now the AR Management Interactive Dashboard can be found up here in the Planning and Forecasting. Here's the AR Management Dashboard. Very easy to get to and assign access to that um, to any of your users. So I'm going to pop down here into the order processing and show you a couple of the other dashboards that we have out here. This is an OE Sales History Dashboard and I'm going to go on ahead and open up this. You can see it has a list of my top 25 customers and it's listing the customer information and the amount of sales. Again, it's interactive here and then down below I can see the sales by customers so I can see the different order information here. Here I can see my breakdown by sales. Now this is test data so yours will look much better in here. And then I have a breakdown by customer type and I can see the different quarters that are out here. So this is one of the OE sales history and now I'm going to pop up into the planning and forecasting. I'm going to close that. Pop into planning and forecasting here. And up here I have a couple of more dashboards here I want to show you. There's the OE sales open order analysis. Uh, same thing, it's looking at the open orders here, it's just a little bit of a different view. So at the top here, we have what we call a spark line, and it works as a filter also. So you'll notice here, it's um, out for my data here. If I drag this here, it's going to change the dates of my order views here, and it's going to change the information here in my dashboard here, based upon the dates that I have selected. Now, this is my sparkline. It's also showing me kind of a value of how many orders I have in those areas. But then down here, I can see this is a card, and you can see each of the orders, what status they're in, and how many uh, we have orders in each one of those statuses. Here you have a very quick view of the percent of the total lines backordered, so 30% of my lines are backordered. Over here I have the backordered amount, and those lines equal $5,000. Down below here I have a very quick view into my top selling items that are in my open orders, and what those dollar values are of those top selling items. So very easy quick view to give you an order status here and if I want to go drill into any of these again these have been linked in with the OE pop console here so I can go on ahead and I'm going to double click and this is going to open up my OE desktop console. Now the console is of course an OE area where I can do anything with these where I can print pick tickets, look at billing, um, I can invoice them and post that, and here is all the particular order information if I drill into them. Of course, I can see all the detail. Gives me a good view of all of my open orders and to a processing screen where I can um, do what I need to with any of those orders. So that's our OE sales open order analysis. Another one is the OE sales history analysis. I'm going to close that one. I'll open up the history. So this is one that's very similar to um, the open orders, only it's based on history. Again, at the top here, I have a spark line that's out here. Now I believe this is set to only show, I think, about three years worth of data here. And you can see the ups and downs based upon the sales amount. And then over here, we have a grid of data. I get a list of all of my different customers with their total sales, percent of sales, the margin, the percent of margin. And then I have a spark line in the data where it shows me the ups and downs of the different sales over that same time period for that particular customer. So I can very easily see all of that information at a quick view here. And then I have my on-time delivery um, gauge sitting over here um, that will tell me I'm 24%. Obviously I have a lot of room for improvements here. Um, for my on-time delivery for my test database here. Now over on the left side you'll also see I have a salesperson filter here. So right now it's checked for everybody and I'm seeing all of my customer data and all of my orders. If I want to see just a particular salesman I unclicked all and I can highlight whichever salesperson I want to see and get that salesperson's customers 
and their particular order information and treads. So it's very easy to take a look at. I can look at a group of people, I can, again, I can look at all. So that's an OE sales history analysis. So these are also um, part of um, the dashboard, the analytical dashboard component, is part of the Agility Design Studio that comes with the base product. So I'm going to go on ahead and open up Agility Design Studio. You have this tool and this is something that we can create for you if you want to customize your dashboards here or you can come in here and you can actually do it yourself. They're fully modifiable. You can copy ours, you can edit ours, or you can build them from scratch. So I have our Agility Design Studio open here and I'm going to go on ahead and I have an OE Sales Open Order Analysis. We just looked at that. I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to open that. And in the Agility Designer here, you would come in here and you would set that you were going to, if I was going to do a new project, whoops, um, hold on here. If you were going to do a new dashboard, you would choose a new component and there's an option called Agility Analytic Dashboard. You would build it from scratch. I'm going to open up an existing one here and this is the base settings here. I come into my dashboard and I have my SQL already prepared, but you can see I can drop all the different types of, uh, of components here for my dashboard. So here I have a range filter. Down here I have my cards, so if I wanted to choose cards I simply drop that on there. Once I drop it on here I fill in the information of how that's going to run and you can see I drop in gauges. Here's the gauges that I drop in. Here's a gauge and then down below here I have a chart. Now I clicked on chart so it dropped this chart in. If I wanted to build this again I can see that this is total sales amount by item number. So if I was going to build that I would simply, here's my data query and I would have my total sales amount and I'm going to break it down by item number. And I have this in order in a top end. So over here, I'm going to go on ahead and choose top end. And I want to do my top 10 items. Click OK. And you can see I've just built this. Now I can make it pretty, give it titles. I can do all kinds of different things. But that's how easy it is to drop these components on here. and make these dashboards. So I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to pop over here to the data source and so you're like yeah but here's your data source. Well over here I'm going to do an edit and you can do a query builder or you can type it in in SQL Enterprise Studio and you can cut and paste that in here or you can run a query builder and build it just like you would say in Crystal by picking your tables, linking your tables. But you can see they're just the order tables, the line table information. I have that in my query and once I have that in there I just click next and finish. That gives me my data here that I can then drag and drop and build these. So that's a very quick overview of the Agility Analytics. Um, we are always adding to that. We have many coming out in the upcoming release. So um, check it out and see what it can do for you.